that we're we're focusing in on uh, the people who committed this murder here in Delphi, Nearly Indiana. Three weeks after someone killed teenagers Libby German and Abby Williams. Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyck discovered that investigators went back to the crime scene to look for more evidence. The investigation is a monumental process of elimination. Detectives believe the more people they eliminate as potential suspects, the closer they're getting to finding a killer. Once again, police return to the scene of the crime. In the 18 days since the girls were found murdered here, investigators have interviewed a thousand people, half of them because of tips from the public. Going out and speaking with people and marking them off the list as suspects is what's been occurring. That we're, we're focusing in on uh, the people who committed this murder here in Delphi, Indiana. The small community continues to rally behind the effort to find those responsible for killing. Doing that, we're, we're viewed a thousand people, half of them because of tips from the public. Going out and speaking with people and marking them off the list as suspects is, is what's been occurring. But by doing that, we're, we're focusing in on uh, the people who committed this murder here in Delphi, Indiana. The small community continues to rally behind the effort to find those responsible for killing two of its favorite daughters. Libby German and Abby Williams. Posters with their pictures are everywhere. Although the crime has made local and national headlines for weeks, Misty Rankin grabbed a fistful of flyers to hand out at a weekend horse meet, just in case someone somehow missed the news. People come from all different states and different counties and things like that, and we're just trying to make sure that everybody gets them. The plan to light up Delphi until the killer or killers are caught sold out the initial shipment of 500 bulbs in just 24 hours, a commitment that's impressed even veteran cops. I'm not surprised by the, the outpouring of emotion in this area, but it is above and beyond anything I've seen in my 18 years of law enforcement. Organizers tell me that on average, people are paying $5 for each one of these orange light bulbs. Profits will be divided among the victim's family.